Hello fellow citizens. After enjoying Elite Dangerous in VR, I was missing that visceral experience of actually flying a spaceship. Unfortunately, the one method of getting Star Citizen working in VR by using Warp X was made unworkable with the introduction of Easy Anti-Cheat in 315. Easy Anti-Cheat sees Warp X as a potential cheating mechanism as it interacts directly with the game files and Vorpex is not whitelisted as an approved tool. So people have looked into other options of making VR work with the gorgeous world of Star Citizen. I have tested a couple of methods, one using third-party tools reshade and virtual desktop, but found it to be cumbersome to launch and not 100% stable on my machine. So I looked at simpler methods and came up with one that works quite well for me. This is meant to be a relatively quick step-by-step -step guide on how to get up and running with a similar setup to what I have. I have tested this with my Oculus Quest 2 headset, but it should work well with other headsets provided minor modifications. There are three tools that you will need to make this method work. The first is Virtual Desktop, the second is OpenTrack, and the third is Steam VR. And I'll list links to those below. Step 1. Download and install Virtual Desktop. There are two versions of it. I will focus on the Oculus version, since that is what I already own and it works well wirelessly with my Oculus Quest 2 headset. Step 2. Download and install Steam VR. This should be pretty straightforward. You may need to install Steam if you don't already own it, and then from within Steam you can install Steam VR. Step 3. Download and install OpenTrack. OpenTrack uses Steam VR to capture your headset's head movement and then outputs it to games like Star Citizen, mimicking a head infrared tracker. Step 4. Add two custom resolutions to your NVIDIA control panel or via AMD software. One is 2400 by 1000 and the other is 2080 by 1960 for Quest 2 or equivalent to it for your specific headset. The first resolution will enable you to use wider field of view and this is not 100% necessary and so I might leave the details of how to set this up in the video description to keep this video shorter. The second resolution enables the game to run in a format that will fit each eye completely. You will not want to have a widescreen here because then you would end up seeing black borders on top and bottom of, of your headset. The resolution value is not exactly the native resolution of the Quest 2, but it works perfectly to fill the entire eye view. Once you have done all of the above, I recommend rebooting since Windows always likes to reboot when installing and configuring things. Start by running Virtual Desktop Streamer app on your computer. Power on your headset and connect to the virtual desktop instance. You should be able to see your computer screen in front of you. Use your mouse to open OpenTrack and click on Start. When you do this, Steam VR will launch onto your headset and take up your view. Use the left hand controller for your headset and click the menu button on it twice to minimize Steam VR and get back to your virtual desktop. We just need SteamVR running in the background to capture our motion, nothing else. Next on your desktop, click stop on OpenTrack if you see the squid is not center aligned. For some reason, I have to always start mine twice for it to be aligned properly. So click start again and test by moving your head left, right, up, down and tilt it left and right. If the tilt is incorrect, as it was in my case, Click the mirror button to reflect it. Now that you have your virtual desktop and tracking of your head running, when you start Star Citizen, do not worry first about how the screen looks. Let's get tracking set up first, and then we will adjust the view and the resolution. To test appropriately, enter into arena mode, select single player, change the course to free flight, and select a ship with an interior if possible, um, and then launch the game. Once the game starts, you need to enable head tracking. 
By selecting it under Options, Comps, VoIP, Head, Tracking tab, ensure that you select Track IR as the tracking source and select Yes under Toggle Enabled. You also want to ensure to have use position offsets in cockpits set to Yes so you have full six degrees of motion while flying. You want to select No on Disable while seated and No under Disable during FPS. I also select No under Disable during Mobi Glass and No under Disable during Interaction Mode. Recommend Yes under Roll in Seats and Roll in FPS. For, from my perspective, I want to feel like I am always able to move my head in all different directions. Once you have these selected, exit the menu and test the movements by moving your head left, right, tilt, left and right, and move forward and backward. Go back to the menu and under graphics, select your resolution of 2080 by 1960 and set the field of view to maximum that you're able to. Exit the menu and once again, get back to the game. Now, once you are back in the game screen, you will see everything on a relatively square box in front of you. Now, there are two things that you need to set on your headset. The first is using the right hand controller point above the top of the screen within the virtual desktop app to expose a menu of icons. The first icon will allow you to lock the screen to your head position. And this will essentially make the screen follow your head. Click that and also adjust the size by selecting the size change icon near the right side of that menu and stretch the screen to fully fill your sight. Once you have done this and go back to the screen, you will see that when you move your head, the screen covering your entire vision moves with you and you start to perceive that you are in the environment instead of having the environment move around you. You can now get up of the seat and try walking around to see how it feels. It takes time to get used to being able to move your head independently of moving your body with the keyboard and mouse. But once you get the hang of it, it will become natural. So enjoy VR.